Hello once again, it's Cool Groove here at Talladega trying to do qualifying lap if I can keep my car on the track instead of the apron. Hope you're all having a good day. Hope everything's going good. Your summer break has started. I uh, hope you have a safe and wonderful summer. Summertime, summer, summer, summertime. Oh yeah. Sorry. <laughs> I should be in bed. <laughs> oh, so what's crack lacking, everybody? Feel free to leave a comment in the chat box below. I hope I can earn a subscription and a like. Um, I would like to do nothing more but give you guys the best um, product to the best of my ability. I hope I can learn and do better and better for your guys' sake. If you saw the last race, I just barely All right, coming to the green. This one counts. got my 25th place. I was just doing the Xfinity race off camera. And I don't know what happened. Austin Cedric AI hit me out of the blue to try to knock me out of the draft. And so I retaliated <laughs> and spun him out right before the finish line. And I just barely hit my sponsor goal for that. So that could have backfired greatly. <laughs> but hopefully I'll give you a good clean race right here. All right, that's our run. Ooh, I got a down. sub 50, but I'm good. And here we are at Talladega. Coming to the green, driver. Almost ready. All Thanks right, to driver. some people having to start at the back. I car don't start inside. 40th, but I'm starting 38th. Got a car low now. Because I got my lap bonus, well, not my lap bonus, my goal bonus last race. Um, inside. This race, I'm racing for points racing for the playoffs so I don't have to worry about where I finish as long as I finish and then get as many points as I can and as much money as I can stay on the bottom here mm, as we can see my super speedway car is much suited for this track at Talladega and Daytona than it is at a short track, i.e. Bristol. Still there. Sorry, Quinn, if I find it an insult that you're at a higher rank than me. Because you and Cody Ware Careful. shouldn't Still even there. be in the car. Well, I went behind to see if uh, Quinn, who, uh, Hoff, or whatever you want to pronounce his name, got into like a, say an RCR car. Still there. Or uh someone better than the team I don't even know what Careful, team he drives for. Clear down low. As far as I know, I think they're out of business now. They no longer race. Three wide now. Outside, outside. Clear and thanks high, to the charter high. system, there's basically only thirty-six cars racing when there used to be 40 and before that it was 43. Got one inside. So there, unless you can get a charter, there's no Three wide middle. true benefit of trying to bring a car to the track anymore like they used to. There used to be 100, 50 to 100 cars trying to qualify for one race. Stay high up here. Now we have to fix that. 
NASCAR is so dumb sometimes. And I'm sorry, I'm a little bitter today. If the rumor is true, I saw on Twitter. Because Dell Jr. on his podcast had the nerve to interview Jeremy Mayfield and criticize the All Star race. They've asked that Dell Jr. to be removed from the NBC booth when they start uh, broadcasting the races. If that is true, they have completely gone full woke and full snowflake. That is not even funny because. He still has millions of trusted and loyal fans that if they say, oh, you can't come, I'm sure there's half of his fans will just stop going, stop watching, and stop giving them money. It is utterly ridiculous. Still there. And if you don't know the story about Jeremy Mayfield, you should go to Dirty Mo Media and watch or listen to that pod, the podcast. He's got clips of it on YouTube, but he's got a podcast. The dude straight up got blackballed by NASCAR. There's no way around it. And people say, well, what about the 28 count felony counts from when they raided his property? Yeah, the police raided his property in North Carolina. The warrant asked for a metal plate, and they went into his house and looked in the safe, pulled out one of his bags that had a coin in it, and tried to say he had meth in his safe. If you had meth in your safe, would you have willingly opened up your safe without trying to cause a distraction or something? To try to get rid of it? But then... In his defense, apparently it just came out not too long ago that in North Carolina there was some dirty cops who was doing fake raids on people and sending them to jail on trumped up charges just because they didn't like them. And in this day and age, it doesn't take much, I would think, that you get someone on the under the books to say, hey, here, you've been doing this. Check this guy out. Still there. Excellent lap. Good job. So. Stay on the bottom. Yeah. They say that the only difference between a conspiracy theory and the truth is six months. Still there. So, I have noticed when I was doing my Xfinity recordings at Talladega, and when I did the hot seat here last season on this game, I had troubles with my tire wear. I think I kind of slowed the bleed. Because uh, the setup that I was using called for um, saying that uh, it was a 5.8 camber with a negative 4 camber around. or something like that. And I changed it to 5 and 3 or something like that. And I think it's, I can say it's worked because I've gone 9 laps and I still have over 50% of my right front tire left. And I'm in 11th, 10th. Hold that line, driver. What? Joey Gase, get back in the back of the pack. You don't belong up here. You and your Rick Rare races space. Stay low. I almost wish they would only allow you to have two cars per stable. Instead of having, like... Still there. Uh, Joe Gibbs and Hendrix and Stewart with four cars. 
because look, look at Stuart Haas. It is quite clear that the two best cars in that stable, especially this season, is the 14 of Chase Briscoe and Happy in the number four. Uh, Kevin Harvick. And that Cole Custer is just a waste of space. Coming to the green, driver. And he's a, clearly Ready. a bust. Ready. And then you got Eric Almarillo who's retiring at the end of the season. And he's alright. He had a good a good performance at the race today. Right, I'm recording this on a Sunday. And the race just happened. And he finished in the top five. Top ten. Still there. Um, I forgot what he finished. All clear. I know at one point he was third. Car now, um, so he w he had an excellent one up top. Uh, performance. Um, but he's now. retiring. Got one down low now. Hold your line. Got one outside. And depending on who they can get to outside, replace him, you know, let's say they just dropped to three cars and sold the charter, then that would use that money to help it bolster your other three cars. Stay low. You know, force Rick Rare to sell all but two of his charters. Still right there. there's three right, to possible one to three new teams could come up with that right there. there. Um you know Christopher Bell is an excellent driver, clear but clear he's high. clearly the low man out. Um but I don't know, but outside, outside. On any given Sunday, you know, Joe Gibbs' team and Rick Hendricks could actually definitely do something on a wonderful Careful, like, like perform top ten all four cars. You know, it like Hendricks Car last year. Uh, all four of his drivers finished in the top four in one race, which very rarely happens. There, I got my stage seven win. Uh, no, uh, seven. Stage one and the seventh got me some stage points. And because of my tire wear, I definitely need to change some tires. Just to give me that uh, the edge. Because I'm going to need it with these long stages. The other cars are like all the teams are like two or three car teams like Team Penske. They have four chargers. They don't usually use the 33. I, do, I need to look that up to see if there's that they have a, if they have four or three chargers. Because I know they run two, twelve, and twenty-two every Sunday. And occasionally, last season they would race the 33 with Austin Cindric. They get him some lap times before he replaced Brad in the number two card this season. Careful, still there. So if there is a charter for the 33 car, say Team Pen um, the there. captain chain uh, captain is the nickname for uh, Roger Penske. Got a car uh, Penske owns the Indianapolis Speedway and is in charge of the Indianapolis 500, and he's the owner of Penske. Um, and he also has, I think he has a team in IRL too. So, that's, for those who don't know and been living underneath the rock or didn't care about NASCAR until you stumbled upon this, that's who the captain is, Roger Penske. You know, so if he has... Oh, he, he could sell the fourth charter. And to go. And then if you take Tony Stewart's fourth starter, and that's, he's a guy who's basically in charge of Stewart Haas Racing. There's two, and if you make Rick Rear get rid of two, there's four charters, and you could have two two-car stables right there. 
and that could open the door to get Dell Jr. in there. Or if there's anyone else that's been wanting to get in but can't because it's not uh, financially suitable to start a team in the Cup Series if you don't have a charter, which is I think is one of the stupidest things. Long term, though, short, you know, it's a two-edged sword. Back in the day, if you had a team and you could no longer race, Still there. basically the only thing that was worth any money was your building and your shop. Still there. You My building and shop, something. You, if you had any cars, tools, any of that Careful. stuff, Still that was there. basically but depending on how long you've been in the business and how long you've been struggling, your equipment is probably worthless. Your cars are probably worthless. It wasn't worth much money. You actually probably took a loss when you sold it. With the charters, they only go up in value. So if you bought a charter, say, 10 years ago for a million bucks, you could actually sell it north of 15 million bucks. Clear high, clear high. So, and then they're afraid to add charters because that would cut the um, the purse, and because the ownership of NASCAR are a bunch of stumbling idiots, and thanks to politicians running our economy to the ground. And I blame both parties for that. You know, NASCAR's dropped in popularity. When Dell Sr. died in 2001, you know, most popular active driver ever outside of Richard Petty. And the fact that a bunch of our light, um, up and coming drivers, you know, you had Davey Allison, you had Kyle. Still there. Or oh, uh, what was Adam Petty? Um. Still there. And then you, uh, Alan Kowicki, Ernie Irvin, John Hunter Nemechek. Careful, still there. You know, all those drivers died in the late nineties, early two thousand. And then right there was a whole slew of talent gone. When the housing bubble and the economy took a tank, companies weren't spending millions of dollars on sponsorships anymore. Matter of fact, stadiums that you could hold 200,000 people because the fans stopped coming because they kept constantly changing the point system. They're changing the car constantly. That people said, who cares? So, that's my take. And I don't know how long I've been rambling. Careful, still there. But I hope you've enjoyed my my ramble. I hope you've been enjoying the racing, um, to where I could um, have the honor of getting your subscription and your like. Um, if you have any comments below, feel free. And I am a weird one. On this game, all my cars are Toyotas because they, for some odd reason in this game, Toyota pays you more money to race their cars than the other two in this game, which is weird. Um, but I'm a big Team Penske fan, though I prefer Chevys over Fords. I don't get it. I am just a mess, guys. Down low now. You're all 
clear on the bottom. Hold your line, got one outside. All clear. Oh my goodness! Hang tight there, driver. I'm having the race of my life. Alright, clear outside. All this clear. is so awesome. Alex Bowman, he's been quiet the last... He got himself a win and he's been relatively quiet. Careful, still there. This season. Still there. And with Joey Logano winning again on Sunday, Two laps to go. that gives him his second win of the season. Inside. Low's clear. That may be a caution. Got a car low now. All right, you're clear. Um. So, you see Ross Chastain, William B, Joey Logano, and Denny Hamlin all have four or two wins apiece. On the and there's a slew of other people with one. In the NASCAR playoffs, if you don't know, there's 16 spots. If you win, you're an automatic lock. And the playoffs. However, there I think there is ah, 11. One that stage, way to go, driver. Winners. Ten or eleven winners. And there's like a handful of races before the playoffs. That it could very well be Coming to the green. That winning it, it winning it to get in may not now. be. Where if you were trying to get in on points, that if you didn't win a race this season, it's Hold not going to help you Clear at all. Low. Outside, outside. Uh. Farther on the inside. Bottom clear. Note to sell by fly smart. I have a fly or two flying because. We Still there. Car outside. Hold your because line. we left our back door open to let some air in because we have no AC in this house. Careful, still there. And our trash can is like right, 10, 15 outside. feet away from the back door. <laughs> and so Car there's flies. Right, careful. Hold your line, got one outside. I really outside, want my, my boy Ryan Blaney. He's got to be my favorite cup driver right now. I really want him to win. Nice and easy. Three wide. He was really close today. He just didn't have enough power to catch up to Joey and Kyle. Careful, still there. And I Halo, win Halo. at Dega. Because if you've been watching me throughout the whole series, I DNF'd at Daytona in the first stage. Halo. So I'm itching to get back there to try to redeem myself. Oh, there's Clint Boyer. I can't quite, I like, he's a funny guy, and I, and I like that, but the fact that they try to get him to try to be funny so much in the booth just is getting annoying, and the Fox's coverage of the Xfinity race at Portland, Oregon last um, Saturday was by far the most outside, atrocious outside. thing ever seen. Clear down low. Their first and second place wiped each other out, but yet it took them 30 minutes to show you the clip of it because they weren't even didn't even have them on camera. 
we were focusing on guys in the back of the pack. You know, and I thought I heard or saw a clip that when the truck race was at St. Louis on Saturday, or Friday, one of, oh, it was Saturday, it was Saturday, that uh, Kevin Harvick could be here off camera, off um, camera, chewing out the producer for not even being on the, the same camera as with the, t the cars that they were talking about. You know, they got a contract negotiations coming that starts next season. And if you got enough influential YouTubers and you got drivers and other people complaining about Fox's utter trying to just basically mailing in every production, you know, they could find themselves losing to somebody other um, um, somebody else. And I sure hope to God it's not ESPN. Oh, I'm sorry, it's not ESPN now. It's MSESPN. Because all they care about is virtual singling and politics and not actually showing you the games anymore. And if you don't believe, agree with them, they fire you. Or in one case of a person down in North Carolina asked a question about a certain thing that I can't say on YouTube because um, there there is no freedom of speech um, is they asked about a certain poke to get and when they could go back to not having to wear the mask and her, their boss called the cops on them. Are they on your outside? Yeah. All right, you're clear. If I wanted the headache, I would create a second channel and just strictly talk politics from an average Joe point of view, using logic and common sense. But I just don't want to have to deal with Hold the brain dead invalids who low. listen to everything people say to them on the and all don't ever think for themselves. They've been told all their life one way outside, outside. and won't all even clear. think for themselves about possible uh, compromises. And so they realize, oh, that way isn't bad. I am, but, Car on the outside now. oh well, pub my pay grade, Hold your line. Got one outside. you couldn't pay me enough to be the president of the United All States right, anymore, though I have no talent, I have no experience, and so I would fit in with the last, what, Careful, three, four there. presidents? No experience in politics. Um, uh, yeah, you can see Joe Biden's got that, but come on, have you seen him? I don't even know if he knows what day it is. <laughs> and Trump. Got a car low now. I hope we can bring up Trump. That man, he is by far the true entertainer. By just listening to him speak, to show you how weak as a society our America has gotten, because every time he spoke, someone was crying. Like, you're hurting my feelings. Still there. And as I'm coming with almost to this race, I have to say it. Research for yourselves. And I promise you I'm going to try to keep this the last and the first and only episode where I bring up politics. But search 
for yourselves. Don't listen to everybody. Hold your line. Got one inside. I don't always listen to my, you know, people, oh, you're just talking because your daddy taught you this. Uh-uh, my dad and I do not agree on everything. I think he is way off on some things, and I'm pretty sure I'm way off on some things, but you don't, I went out and looked for myself. Like, oh, I could do it this way. Oh, it's a better way of doing that way. But when it comes to guns rights, 1917, 1929, 39. Um, you got, okay, so you got the Russians, the Turks, Hitler, Cambodia, Venezuela. Oh, I should have hit it then. <laughs> Oops. Those countries, China, those countries said for your safety, um, we're going to take your guns. And over 56 million people have died because of the regimes took their guns and did things because they weren't able to defend themselves. Oh well. I have enough gas to make right, it. Smart out here. Going green. At one point I thought Almost it said green. I had five. Alright. Two laps to go. Five laps of fuel. Okay, I'm good. Go, I just gotta driver. stay in front of everybody. Alright, you're clear. Now, if I said anything that may have offended you, that was not my intention. And I promise you this would be the first and last time I even bring up any kind of politics. Sorry, I got heartburn tonight. So. Keep this spot. Can I keep it? Can I keep it? Can I keep it? All right, you're clear. Can I get the win? I need the money. I need the money. I want the holler. No, no, cuss. What are you doing, Carter? You're not supposed to be up. No! Cuss, you cannot win this race. Come on, come on. Uh, I hate this. No! No! Oh, I had the win. And I lost it to Custer? Carter? No! No! 
Wow, a speed rating 105. That's a first. And I have managed to talk the entire time. Wow. I don't even know if I want to edit most of it. I just want to... Right here. Boom. Send it. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> we will see. Oh, 56 dollars away from half a million bucks. All right. Well, you guys have a wonderful evening, and I will see you next time. Peace.